Hello guys, I hope you're all having a great day. Thank you very much for tuning in. It's Beer Monster O'Clock, so let's get into another review. For this review, we're going to take a trip to Germany with their Paulana Munchen... <laughs> Paulana Munchen Munchner Hell. I think it's a Helles style lager, from what I can make out. Uh, it's 4.9% ABV. I picked this up from a Tesco Superstore in the three for five pan deal, but you do need your club card or you're gonna get mugged right off. Uh, it's a five, 510 mil bottle actually, which is kind of unusual. Normally they're like 660 or five, but they've gone 510. Fair enough, whatever. This is actually brewed and bottled in Germany. It's not reduced ABV brewed up north somewhere in the UK or nothing like that. It is imported from Germany. It is the proper stuff. So yeah, with all that being said, let's crack on with it, shall we? And uh, get it open and uh, see if it's a good one or not. Here we go. She's open. Let's get it in the glass, shall we? Yeah, I'm looking forward to trying this. I've heard it's pretty good. So uh, hopefully I enjoy it. Right, it's in the glass. It's a very clean, translucent gold color. You can see me right through it, look. Uh, it has a, quite a small head, slightly foamy. Carbonation. I'd say medium to high carbonated for this one. Uh, let's get the aroma. It's grainy. Doesn't have much aroma this. It's got hints of like herbal hops in there in the background. A bit, a bit of biscuit, like biscuity malts. Not getting a lot elsewhere, you know. As I always say, lagers don't smell of much, do they? Some of them you can't really smell anything, to be honest with you. It smells all right, no nothing uh, wrong with it. But it's all about the taste, isn't it? Particularly with lagers, you know. You can't really go by the aroma that much, can you? Anyways, let's give it a go. Cheers, guys. Bosh. Oh yes, that's nice. That is very, very nice. Uh, it's better than what I thought it was gonna be. Sometimes when they're a bit lighter golden looking, quite often for me, they're a bit meh, but yeah, that's kind of took me by surprise. It's stupidly smashable, this one. Um, it's light bodied and it's very crisp and it's got like a smooth kind of mouthfeel about it. Let's go in again. Oh, that's really, really nice. Extremely refreshing, extremely smashable, crushable, destroyable, whatever you want to call it. It's like, what, like a biscuity, sweet biscuity malts in there, which are really nice actually. Like bready malts in there. So it's like biscuity and bready on the front. And as the sort of taste travels along, it gets a sort of grassy hops and like herbal hops as well. It's very, very well balanced as well, I must say. It's just. For me, it just comes in that demolishable category. It's not overly complex. There's not anything too crazy and over the top going on. It's just extremely easy drinking, smashable lager. Um, and it's just very enjoyable. You know, sometimes uh, it's just what you need, isn't it? 
you don't want something too complex. You just want something you can absolutely muller to the point where it's almost criminal uh, <clears throat> without really thinking about it too much. And this absolutely nails that. Absolutely nails it, it really does. It's just, to put it simply, I'm not picking up a great deal else, but what is there is just done perfectly. It's just done perfectly. Sometimes you don't have to go too mad. You don't have to go too crazy with the flavours. Just what you do do, you need to do it like really well. And that's exactly what this does for me. It's just a good, crisp, Jerez Lager. And sometimes that is what the soul needs in it, let's face it. And uh, this just nails it for me. It's very, very nice and enjoyable. And uh, yeah, spices up, spices I've never uh, come across this before. But I don't really go in Tesco as much. I'm not seeing it as the. Yeah, oh, this is decent stuff. Score wise. Difficult because, like I say, it's not the most complex, but it's just I can see what they're doing with it, and yeah, I'm just really enjoying it. It's not the most flavoursome, it's not the most like you know, I've had way more flavours than lagers, but this is just complete like destroyability alone. I'm gonna have to give it an 8.8 .8 out of 10. Yeah, it's just uh, just a completely crushable lager. One grew up. I wish the bottle was a bit bigger. But yeah, um, can't, can't win them all, can you? Thank you very much for tuning in, guys. Please smash the like button on this video if you want to help me out. And consider subscribing and watch a few of my other videos. If you enjoy them, smash that subscribe button. And hopefully I'll see some of you on the next one. Bye-bye, darlings.